Hi guys. A few years ago, I was asked to create this piece of retouching for uh, a yoga company. So they sent me this sketch, uh, which, which they'd mocked up in uh, Illustrator. And as you can see, it's extremely rough. And when they sent it to me, they asked me, can I do this, but make it photorealistic? And I went ahead and said yes. And then thought to myself, how am I going to do this? At the time, I didn't have any uh, 3D knowledge, how to create anything from in 3D. So there were a few areas that I thought were going to be a bit difficult. Uh, mainly was going to be the texture of the river. How, I was, going to, how was I going to make this uh, a realistic looking river winding in this particular pattern uh, and make it look like it was genuinely made of yogurt? And the agency was pretty firm. They wanted the finished product to look very similar to in layout to this this little mock-up so what I'm going to do is show you guys exactly how I created this piece of the finished result which is this and to show you how I my, my thought processes and uh, the layer styles and how I ended up building this up to end up with this final result so without any further ado what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off all the layer groups here in the layers palette Starting off with just the scamp. Okay, so my first step was to strip in some mountains, which looked fairly similar to the ones which were in the scamp. So there we are, there are some mountains. Next up, I had to create this landscape, which was, uh, they wanted eh, kind of fairly similar to the layout here. So the next step was to create a landscape by fusing a whole bunch of hills together and uh, to get to get this result. I'm going to open up this folder here and uh, switch off the bits and bobs and then I'll switch them back on. Okay, so what I did was I grabbed a, a picture of a riverbank and some hills and started stripping these in. Now even this section of hills right here was that doesn't exist in real life. So I ended up this section here is a, a fusion of about three different hills. So uh, I'll keep switching on these layers. And uh, there we are, until we end up with this result here. So that's the, the base landscape. Okay, so uh, the next step was to create the base river, and this is that. So I'll open this up and I'll show you guys how I end up making this. If I zoom in, you can see uh, all these interesting little shapes. And the way I created that was, I'm gonna switch off all these layers except for the foremost uh, one and disable the layer mask. And you can see what I did was I created a, a big tray uh, out of styrofoam and then laid it with uh, some plastic so it's waterproof. I bought a 10 liter bucket of vanilla yogurt, which is all I could get and uh, in that size. Tipped it into the tray and it was very thick and gluggy so I ended up having to add about an equal amount of water and, uh, and mix it up to get something that was a bit more loose, a little bit more flowing. And then I got like an egg whisk and a wooden spoon and a few things and ran it through the yogurt so I could get end up with these sort of interesting shapes and textures. Okay, and I'll just pan back out again. And then I kept laying on, I'll just keep disabling these layer masks and uh, so I can see what I did. You can see that as the river winds off into the background, I uh, just sort of tilted the, the, uh, the tray um, and sort of lifted it up a little bit so I could get those interesting shapes but at slightly different angles and uh, kept laying them on until they, the river wound off into the background. So uh, that's kind of how I got those textures. If I re-enable the layer masks, uh, we can see that I've, where I've sort of brushed these areas in. There we are. It's all a bit messy, but uh, it, the result, it sort of worked. Next up is, uh, is where I dropped in the, some strawberries. And uh, these aren't the strawberries that I used for the finished product. Uh, these were real strawberries. They're not very commercial looking. But what I wanted, what I needed was to get these little interesting shapes of where the yogurt is lapping up against the strawberry. Okay, so there, this interesting shape around here and uh, this one here. And, uh, and so on and so forth. So 
that's the reason why those strawberries are in there. Just so I could get grab those interesting little areas, those interesting shapes of where the, where the yogurt is pushing up, nudging up against the uh, strawberry. The next section is, uh, I've called this uh, oh, the flattened river. Okay. So this is a whole bunch of layers. And what I did with this section, if I switch it on and off, the original, you can see the original yogurt. It's very matte looking. It looks like it's a bit dried out because it's probably been sitting in the tray for a while. And it didn't look very fresh. So what I needed to do was I needed to add a bit more wetness and exaggerate the shapes a little bit just to make it look a bit more fresh and dynamic. And so this layer here with a whole bunch of layers in there, I won't bore you with all the details, but this is where I'd colored the river. So it was strawberry. And I'd uh, exaggerated the high sections and exaggerated the shadows a little bit. And you can see these areas here is where I literally just with a, with a Photoshop brush just and added a bit of scattering and I just brushed that sort of highlight in there. So that's all fake. So I'll put a whole bunch of little tiny little subtle uh, little shines there to make the whole thing look a, a lot more sort of wetter and uh, more inviting and fresher. Okay, next one up is banks. All right, so here I've just created a bit more of a, a realistic riverbank. Um, and uh, moving on up, uh, this area here, strawberry shadows. So this is just a layer of black uh, set to multiply. And this is where I'd sort of dropped in actual, uh, the strawberry shadows, okay? Which doesn't look, make much sense at the moment because the shadows are covering these, these old strawberries. But when I drop in the real strawberries, the ones that I actually used, uh, then it'll, it'll make sense. So I'll do that right now. So here we are, switch on the strawberries. And here are the stock library strawberries that I ended up using. So they're much more uh, fresh, perfect, probably retouched. I'd certainly added a bit of color to the leaves to make it look a bit, uh, a bit make them a bit more flawless looking. And uh, next up, the right bank. Okay, so I've just built up the right side of the bank there as well, before and after. Okay, next up, levels. Okay, so here I've just simply uh, brightened the hills a little bit more, made it look, uh, made them look um, a bit more sunny, I guess. Next up is river warp. Okay, so originally you can see that the river was looking very, um, it, it didn't look like it was winding like a river should. It was, uh, there were three distinct angles, one, two, three, and there were these angles were quite straight. And I think that the river needed to be a bit more curved and a bit more natural. So what I did was I copy merged what I had here and then just used the, uh, I think it was probably the liquify tool uh, or the warp tool, I think it was liquify, and just nudged those edges out so it was a bit more of a, a more pleasing, relaxed shape. Next up, we have the river edge, and all that is is just a, a more realistic shadow of the edge there where the bank is overhanging over the river, so we needed a bit more of a, a natural shadow. Right, next is uh, these areas, these, uh, these banks were looking a bit, a bit sparse and a bit boring, there wasn't much detail. Uh, so I painted in some, uh, some grass and some buttercups. I'll just zoom in so you can see what I did. The, all this grass here that's overlapping uh, the riverbank, this, these were all just painted in with, Photoshop, with, with uh, grass Photoshop brushes. And uh, these little sections here, which are, they look like buttercups, that was a Photoshop brush that I downloaded from somewhere and uh, just brushed them in, scattered them randomly around the, uh, the left and right banks just to give, the, give that foreground a bit, more, a bit more detail, a bit more interesting. Not as dominant as the river itself, because that's what I, where I wanted the focus to be, but just to make it a bit more interesting. The next thing I did was, I've noticed that the mountains here in the, uh, in the background, they're very strong, uh, they're very sharp, and they're quite dominant compared to, uh, well, they're, they're, it seems like they're slightly in com competition with the foreground. And I wanted them to sit back a little bit, so I just faded them a little bit by painting a little bit of blue. You can see that before and after. Just painted a bit of blue to sort of knock them back a little bit. Next up, I added some trees. 
uh, keeping in mind to make sure that the, the shadows of the trees fell to the left. Uh, I noticed when I dropped the mountains in that the mount that you can see that the sun is obviously coming, even though you can't see the sun, the sun is obviously beaming down from the upper right. And so the, the light is beaming down and when it hits the mountains, the shadows fall to the left quite sharply. So you know it's a fairly bright day and the sun is in the upper right. So I just had to make sure that the, the shadows for the trees fell in the same direction. And I was also aware of that when I was, uh, when I was forming the landscape to make sure that some of these shadows uh, are real, but I've sort of exaggerated them a little bit so that they, they match the intensity of the sunlight. And uh, same with the shadows that I painted for the uh, strawberries. Uh, they're obviously falling to the left as well. And once again, when I was uh, painting on the highlights of the, on the river itself, I was just making sure that once again, it looked like that the sun was sort of coming from the left-hand side. Finally, uh, I just dropped in some cows. And uh, looking at the original, you can see that the cows are pretty much all the same shape. But uh, that wasn't going to work with uh, my photorealistic version because we, no we needed to um, make sure that the image contained a lot of depth. So uh, I just made sure that the cows uh, sort of drifted off from uh, large to small uh, as they peppered the hills there. And finally, there's just a little sharpened layer at the top. Now, looking at this finished result, uh, and the fact that I did it quite a few years ago, I can see that I'm not entirely happy with this. If I was to do this today, I prob probably would have peppered the hills uh, with a lot more trees at the top here, because the top of these hills are looking a little bald to my eye. And I imagine that as the landscape uh, drifts off, the trees would, would tend to gather and you'd see a lot more trees sitting at the top of the hill. So that's what I would do if I had a bit more time. I remember at the time when they gave me this job, time was of the essence and uh, I really only had about one weekend and uh, about four evenings to knock this together because I was working full time at, this, at the time and so this was a side project and I'm happy to say that the client was uh, very happy with what I managed to knock together in a very short period of time. So I hope you guys like this video. Hopefully it uh, showed you a few tips and tricks and my mindset and logic that I used in order to, uh, to throw this together. It certainly was a bit of a problem solving exercise. And uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, I wasn't too sure how I was going to do it. But as I just plowed through, everything sort of came together and sort of made sense. Until next time, take it easy.